okay so in this lecture we are going to uh, take uh, multiple inequalities and we are going to uh, sketch the common region okay so let us take question sketch the common region x plus 3y less than or equal to 5 x plus y less than or equal to 3 x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 okay so now in this particular thing i will first draw the lines i will what will i do i will first draw the lines x plus 3y equal to 5 okay and then i will draw the line x plus y equal to 3 and then we will come back to this problem again so let us see how will i draw the lines x plus y equal to 3 so let me just take the first part now so for that if i take two values of x suppose i take x is equal to uh, let me take x equal to 2 and let me take y equal to 0 i can take any values of x and y and then corresponding to that if i put in the equation x plus 3y equal to 5 this will become 2 plus because x is 2 plus 3y equal to 5 so this will mean this 2 is added on the left hand side so when it goes on the right hand side it will get subtracted 5 minus 2 so this will become 3y is equal to 3 and therefore y will become 3 upon 3 so y will be equal to 1 therefore the word pair that i'm getting x comma y is how much x is how much x is 2 and y is how much y is 1 so I got 2 comma 1. If I put x y equal to 0 in the equation, the equation is x plus 3y equal to 5. Then I will get x plus 3 into 0 is equal to 5. And therefore x plus 0 is equal to 5. And what is x plus 0? x plus 0 is x equal to 5. So the corresponding pair that I got here in the second part is x comma y is how much? 5 x is 5 and y is how much y is 0 now we will plot the now we will go to the second line what is the second line the second line is x plus y equal to 3 so i will look at x plus y equal to 3 so for this i will take two values of x and y anything i can take x also so if i will take x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 what will i get I will get x plus y equal to 3 x plus y equal to 3 will become 0 plus y is equal to 3 and therefore y is equal to 3 here x comma y pair becomes 0 comma 3 and here if I put 1 plus y equal to 3 so I will get y is equal to 3 minus 1 and therefore y is equal to 2 here I will get x comma y will be equal to how much is x x is 1 comma y is how much 2 so i got the two points for the second line also now we will go in the graph so let me draw x axis y axis to y axis let go to x axis okay and uh, points are one two three four five is enough and go five five units on x axis and y axis okay let us draw the first line now what is the first line the first line is 
having the points 2 comma 1 so I will draw them 2 comma 1 and 5 comma 0 2 comma 1 is 2 comma 1 is on this point x axis 2 and uh, y axis 1 so this point is 2 comma 1 and second point is 5 comma 0 uh, it is on the x axis 5 on the x axis and nothing on the y axis so when I join these two points by a straight line okay what is the line and the line is uh, how much x plus 3y is equal to 5 something like this okay second line is uh, x plus y equal to 3 so this will be 0 comma 3 and 1 comma 2 where is 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 is on the y-axis so this point is 0 comma 3 and next point is 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 is here Okay. When I draw this particular line, no, I'm not using the exact graph paper, so my measurements are approximate measurements. Blends are approximate. When I actually take the graph paper, you will observe that this line exactly passes through this point when you draw the it on the actual by taking correct centimeter correct lengths you will observe that they cut here who is this point this point is 2 comma 1 who is this point this point is 1 comma 2 this point is 0 comma 3 and this point is 5 comma 0 okay the equation of this line is x plus y equal to 3 right now what we wanted in our original question if you look at our original question it is less than less than both are less than so if I go for the first, if I go for x plus y, x plus 3, so let me write here rough, rough work, if x plus 3y less than or equal to 5, look at the origin, 0, 0, x equal to 0, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, what will you get when you put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, you get 0 plus 3 into 0 is less than equal to 5 so this means 0 plus 0 is less than equal to 5 and 0 is less than or equal to 5 so this is correct when you get the correct answer you have to shade the region where the point 0 0 is there Ponsa line ka chal rahe, which line are we discussing we are discussing about x plus 3 y less than 5 which region am i going to shade because I got the answer is correct, the region I'm going to shade is the region where 0, 0 is there. Okay, so here if I go in the diagram and if I look at this line x plus 3y equal to 5, it has two parts, the lower region and the upper region. In which region is 0, 0 there? 0, 0 is there in the lower region. So I will shade the lower region. Should I touch the line? Yes, because we want x plus y less than or equal to 5. I have told you this in my last lecture.
I'm going to shade below that line everything. Okay. Everything that is below the line x plus 3y equal to 5. Okay. Now let us look at the line x plus y equal to 3. The inequality was x plus y less than or equal to 3 x plus y less than or equal to 3 means put 0 0 put x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and see if you get correct answer if i put 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 3 i'm going to get 0 less than or equal to 3 and this is also correct 0 is obviously less than 3 so i am going to shade the region below this line x plus y equal to 3 which is uh, which is below uh, where origin lies wherever the origin is there jaha pe origin dikh raha hai so that shading is going to take this so where is that line x plus y equal to 3 it is this so let me shade the region horizontal line let me take horizontal line Correct. Right. So now it means that my common shading. Do you see that it is crossing of two lines in some part? Right. You see this region, it has a common shading, but I have done only the first two parts. Correct. This I have done and this I have done. What is x greater than 0, y greater than 0? Means only now look in the what is x greater than 0, y greater than 0. In my last lecture, I have told you that x greater than 0, y greater than 0 is the first quadrant. So now from this shading, I will do what? I will only keep the shading of the which is there in the first quadrant and all other shading i will now what i will do is i will keep the shading which is having both the colors and i will erase all the other shading which is not in the first quadrant okay for example now what i'll do is i will just change the color for my convenience i will do one thing see i will i see that this particular line this particular color is mixing a blue and a green color you will understand in a minute why i'm doing this this region is only in the first quadrant and other all shading that i've drawn you are supposed to do this in in exam by your pencil okay so you can rub that no i don't have that facility so okay now i'm going to erase all the other shading which is not in the first quadrant i hope everybody understand that this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant sare quadrants ka baki logo ka shading mein erase kar dunga okay so see how am i erasing now okay so jo shading bach gaya whatever shading has remained is is this blue color region is only remaining this is the common region we were actually looking for so let me write it here so you have pencils in exams you can simply erase your shadings okay 
So this is the common region. Okay. This is this common region has this point. I, I will now see this common region. If I just trade it in uh, below, if I just draw it in, it is of this shape. See this, then it is like this, then it is like this, and then it is like this. It is of this shape. Okay. How many side? How many corners are there? Corner is A, B, C, and D. Okay, let us write the names of those corners in the diagram also. This is A. This corner is B. This corner is C. And this corner is D. You have four corners A, B, C, D. Okay. So this is the answer of our question. Catch the common region. X three X plus Y equal to six and X plus Y equal to four. Okay. Solution. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. 3x plus y less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 solution so again as in the previous sum i will take the line 3x plus y equal to 6 i will take two values let me take x is equal to 0 and let me take y is equal to uh, 1 or let me take y equal to also 0 so I will get when I put x equal to 0, I will get 3 plus 0 plus y is equal to 6. 3 into 0 is 0 plus y is equal to 6. So y will become 6. Therefore, the pair that I'm going to get is x comma y is how much? 0 comma 6. So when I put y equal to 0, I'm going to get 3x plus uh, 0 is equal to 6. And therefore, 3x is equal to 6. And therefore, x is equal to 6 upon 3. And therefore, x is how much? 3 when the 3, 3 to the 6. So x is equal to 2. So I'm going to get what is the pair x comma y is how much x is 2 and y is 0. Let us draw the second line. The second line is x plus y equal to 4. So x plus y equal to 4 for this particular line. Again, I'm going to take two values of x. Let me take x equal to 0 and let me take x equal to 1. When I take that, I will get x plus y equal to 4. And here also I have x plus y equal to 4 so this is 0 plus y is equal to 4 and therefore y is equal to 4 then here i will put 1 plus y is equal to 4 and therefore y is equal to 4 minus 1 which is y is equal to 3 so the pair here i'm going to get it x comma y is 0 comma 4 here i'm going to get x is how much 1 comma 3 now i will go in my uh, x y plane i will go in my graph paper and i will draw the x axis y axis so we all have positive numbers x and y nowhere minus sign is there so i don't need to draw the negative side so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 is enough and here I have on y axis 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so this much is enough. And this point is 0. This is y axis. What is the first point? Now let us look at these two points. And for the line x, 3x plus y equal to 6. 0, 6 and 2, 0. 0, 6 lies on which axis? 0, 6 lies on y axis. 2 comma 0 lies on the x axis so the point i'm going to draw is 0 6 is here okay and 2 comma 0 is a point which is here okay and let us draw the uh, line
okay what is this line this the, what is the equation of this line the equation of this, this line is 3x plus y equal to 6 first line second line has points 0 comma 4 which is on the y axis and 1 comma 3 which is on the x axis 1 comma 3 is here right So this line will be joining these two points. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've drawn three comma one, sorry. This is one comma three. One comma three is here. This is one comma three. Okay, I have not taken my exact measurements, so I'm adjusting. So one three. This point is four zero. This point is two zero. This point is zero six. This point is zero four. I'm writing the addresses. This point is zero comma zero. Okay. So this equation is x plus y equal to four. Right. Now let us see what is x plus y. Now my rough work starts. Which region should I shade? So, 3x plus y equal to 6, less than or equal to 6 we want, right? So, put x equal to 0. So, look at 0, 0. Put x equal to 0, y equal to 0. If I put x equal to 0, I'll get 3 into 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 6. Means 0 is less than or equal to 6. And which is correct. This is correct. So I will shade the region in which uh, where 0, 0 lies or for which line for the line 3 y 3 x plus y equal to 6. So, and so this shading will be done in green color, which is this region. The shading where 0, 0 is there. Okay. Now, if I go for the line x plus y equal less than or equal to 4, for the line x plus y less than or equal to 4, put the x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So, you get 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 4, means 0 is less than or equal to 4. This is also correct. So, this means I will shade the region of the line x plus y equal to 4, where 0, 0 is there. Okay, so where is 0, 0? Is it in the lower region of this? Look at this line, okay? L lower region of this line or the upper region? 0, 0 is in the lower region. So let me shade that particular region by some different color. Okay, so this region. Okay. And then I will say that, but I know that. So this is the common region. Do you see the common region having both the colors? Okay, green and pink color, both colors must be there. So where is, but but my question says what? But my question says not only these two, this is done, this question is, this part is done, this part is also done. Now you have to look at what? X greater than zero and Y greater than zero. X greater than zero, Y greater than zero means you will have to sh look at the shading which is only in the first quadrant. So to erase everything from this part, this part and this part. First, uh, second, third and fourth. All shadings you are going to erase by your eraser. Okay. Everything. Whatever is not there. And the region where common is also not there. Okay. Here see in this part, if you look at this part, part that I'm looking. Here only pink shading is there. Whereas if you look at this part, 
here only which type of shading is there here only green color shading so that also will be erased the 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 shading from second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant will also be erased so what shading will remain when i actual when i actually erase the uh, things i am shading that now in a different color for my convenience because i don't have a good rubber with me right now so i will shade the region which will remain okay and then i will erase all the lines whereas what you will do is in your exams you will first erase automatically whatever will remain on your paper will be the common region which is the correct answer okay so let me now my color filling is over because i know only this much is going to remain and i'm going to erase all the unnecessary lines okay so this blue region will only finally remain and other everything will the line is also deleted by mistake okay so the blue region is your now common region i hope it is understood now the second example okay so this is the common region so when you erase your all shadings in with your pencil in your exam okay this will become the common region what are the corners of the cor common region uh, we will label the corners of the common region as always we do the co the common region looks of this shape see one this line this is a slanting line and this is more slanting so let me call this o a b c let me call the uh, corners of that region is o this point is a this point is b and this point is c okay so these are the corners of your common region okay so let us take the next question we will now take three to four inequalities which i have written here x plus 3y less than or equal to 5 x plus y less than or equal to 3 x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 okay these inequalities are called constraints okay and we will now take a new function which is called as objective function so the objective function i will denote by z and let me write the objective function is 2x plus 3y so this is my objective function now what i have to do is i have to maximize the objective function so i will say find max z i want to maximize the objective function okay in the lecture in the first part of this lecture the very first problem we have already drawn the common region which is formed by the below constraints these four constraints that common region i have already kept ready here so that common region is this this common region has four corners those four corners are first corner is o the second corner is this a third corner is b and the fourth corner is d 
let us write the coordinates of the four corners. What are the coordinates of this corner? It is 0, 0. This corner has coordinates 3, 0. B has coordinates 2, 0. And what are the coordinates of D? The coordinates of D are 0, 2. What are these corners? These are the corners of the common region. So let me write what are the four corners. So corners of common region. First corner is 0, O which is 0, 0. A is 3, comma 0. B is 2, comma 1. And D, I forgot C, fine. And D is 0, comma 2. Okay. This common region will now be given a name which is called as feasible region. Feasible region. So these are the, so A, B, D and O are the corners of which region? They're the corners of the visible region. Okay. So what is the value of Z? Let us write what is Z equal to? In the question, I have given you what is Z equal to? Z was 2x plus 3y. Remember that when I'm drawing this common region, I will only use constraints. I will not pay attention at this. This objective function will be used at the last step. So what is Z equal to 2x plus 3y? So here Z is equal to 2. What is X? This is X and this is Y. So what is X? 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0. Second, what is Z here? 2 into 3 plus 3 into 0. So that's 2X plus 3Y. X and Y. Third, what is the Z for this? 2 into something plus 3 into something. What is X? X is 2. What is y? y is 1. Fourth, z is equal to 2 into something plus 3 into something. What is x? x is 0. What is y? y is 2. And then I will calculate what is this equal to. What is this 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0? Sorry. This is 0 plus 0. This is 6 plus 0 this is 4 plus 3 and this is 0 plus 6 which is equal to 0 which is equal to 6 this is 7 and this is all again 6 so z has four values what are the four values 0 at o it is having 6 when it is having 6 when the point is A, 7 when point is B, and again 6 when the point is D. So where is the maximum? Who is the maximum of all these four numbers? So max Z is equal to how much? So 7 is the maximum. At which point have you obtained this maximum? For which point you got the answer 7? You got the answer 7 for point B. At point B, what is that point B? 2 comma 1. So this is the answer of our question. What was our question? Our question was find max Z. We have found max Z. What is max Z? Max Z is equal to 7. 
and at which point you got the maximum you got the maximum at the point b 2 comma 1 which is here in the figure this so here you get the maximum value at this point b you are getting the maximum value okay this is what is expected as an answer if this question is asked in your exams okay so let's take the next question let's find max z if z is equal to 4x plus 2y subject to the constraints these are the three constraints 3x plus y less than or equal to 6 x plus y less than or equal to 4 and x greater than 0 y greater than 0 okay now what is this called let me recall what is this called this is called objective function okay and what are these three these four things called they are called constraints now using these constraints we have to draw the feasible region that is a common region okay in the above section at uh, the second problem was the same thing and we have already drawn the common feasible region so that common feasible region came up to be this which i'm which i've kept ready okay and then we see that this common region or this feasible region has four corners the four corners are 0 0 a 2 comma 0 b is 1 3 and c is 0 4 so let us write the four points so corners of a feasible region are a feasible region are o which is 0 0 a which is 2 comma 0 b which is 1 comma 3 and c is 0 comma 4 these are the four corners of the common feasible region that you see in the above figure for that what i have to do i have to write what is z equal to what is what is the objective function given to us the objective function is 4x plus 2y so 4x plus 2y and i will substitute now z is equal to 4 into something plus 2 into something which is 0 which is again coming to be 0 next is 4 into something plus 2 into something which is 2 and 0 because x and y are how much 2 comma 0 so which is 8 plus 0 and that is 8 next is z is equal to 4 into something plus 2 into something which is 1 and 3 so x is 1 and y is 3 which is 4 plus 6 which is 10 and here z is equal to 4 into something plus 2 into something which is x is 0 and y is 4 and this is 0 plus 8 and this is again 8 so this means that, that from this problem what is max of z here max of z what is the maximum value 0 8 10 and 8 what is the maximum value the maximum value is 10 at which point you have obtained the maximum value at which corner you have obtained the maximum value we have obtained the maximum value at point b which is 1 comma 3 okay so this is the way we find the maximum of z for the given set of constraints these are the set of constraints okay